Hello and welcome back to Beyond Fandolin, a D and D. Uh, I was going to say a D and D podcast, but not really a podcast. YouTube no. show. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, a homebrew D and D campaign set in the Forgotten Realms. Uh, my name's Harrison, and I'm your dungeon master. Next up to my to my left, your right, we have. Hello, my name is Billy. I play Jill Meadowbrook, who is a halfling barbarian milf of my own creation. Um, uh, my my fun fact for Jill this evening is that she okay. really likes pie. Actually, and she's very good at making it. Okay. Yeah. Like true nice. nice. Lovely. Stop. Uh, hi. My name is Mel. Uh, I'm playing Tarduk, a total druid. A uh, fun fact about Tarduk is that he really wants to wear shoes, but he's never found any that fit him. Like his exact oh. foot size. It's a real shame. And shape. Tarduk. It's so upsetting for him. Yeah. <laughs> Poor Tarduk. Uh, hi, I am Nova. I play Noxus, the ghost kobold. Um... Fun fact about Noxus, um, he almost drowned one time, uh, <laughs> because he dropped a little coin into this, like, lake, uh, and tripped over a rock and knocked himself out in the river. And this Damn. isn't how he died? <laughs> no, this is not how he died. It happened again, that's when he died. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time yeah. it happened. G'day, my name is Ryan. I play the Ace of My Paladin, uh, Barrack Seal. Uh, fun fact about Barrack Seal is he's too afraid to have a pet um, because he feels like in another life he would end up wiping out the entire uh, mafia. So he avoids any sort of uh, interaction with small animals. What? <laughs> so, John, <laughs> John Wick. Oh, uh, oh okay. Oh. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Oh, My so God. I was so confused. I was like, is he worried well, the I pet? I didn't know if I should say Russian Mafia, because it'd be like, wait, there's no Russia in this universe. Like, is he worried the pet is going to, like, wipe out the Mafia in another life? Or Anyway. I, di I didn't know whether you were um, implying that Mafia is, like, the name for a group of pets. <laughs> like, you know, like a murder of crows, a Mafia of pets. I don't know. <laughs> oh, boy. Alrighty. Last time. On Beyond Fandolin, we we met Noxus. Uh, that's how we started the the session. Uh, found out what's going on with that. Uh, had a had a funeral for Bombaldo, uh, where you sent him off, gave him a Viking funeral on the uh, last remaining intact lifeboat. Uh, you sailed through a storm. Uh, towards the uh, Moonshay Isles, uh, but then uh, then discovered that the lighthouse that would usually guide the way through the dangerous uh, uh, rocky entrance to the Moonshay Isles, uh, the light was out. Uh, so <clears throat> very carefully maneuvered your way uh, through these rocks. There was a couple of little crashes, but for the most part, you got there. Uh, and you arrived at the Villadel Lifehouse. Lighthouse. Uh, uh, we also found out the reason as to why Anton needed a crew in the first place. Did, that's true. Uh, you found out that he's uh, transporting some uh, quite expensive cargo. The uh, iron flask. Still don't know what's inside. Uh, Not but, a single uh, note written. <laughs> <laughs> um but uh but yeah we uh you arrived at the lighthouse dropped anchor and came the difficult part of working out how to get across to the actual lighthouse island um Tarduk turned into a fish uh a freshwater fish unfortunately really fucking died I will turn into made a fish. it uh <laughs> Jill <laughs> threw a lot of people uh Anyway, everyone ended up leaving the ship and got on the uh, on the island. Uh, uh, yes. 
And who was it? It was the, the person to... we'd met at the um the place. Yes. They, uh, oh, yeah. yes. What's, what's in the order name to, of the place? I forget. The, in the, order to in wrap things up for Jay's character, Anthea, uh, you arrived there to find uh, Isabella, who Anthea had met earlier. And Anthea and Isabella are now going to leave and sail off uh, to be to be happy on the on the mainland and and Isabella is going to gonna take uh Anthea to a to a college of, of magic that to further her skills. So and happy for it. She grew nice, up so fast. Nice wraps that up in a nice little bow. Uh, <laughs> so, Wait, couldn't we have done that last session? We could have, well, but we, I didn't we... I hadn't worked out how I was gonna uh, wrap oh, it up okay. properly <laughs> i wanted it to be a dramatic cliffhanger yes <laughs> uh anyway you have arrived at the adele life light i keep saying life house <laughs> light house all righty uh let me turn up this uh ambience. no i won't let you Sim <laughs> simply no i simply disagree uh, a narrow strip of sand uh, allows for small rowboats uh, to land rather easily. Uh, stone steps hewn from the uh, bedrock, uh, slick with spray and lichen, lead up along the side of the island to a landing, ten feet up. Uh, the steps are open to the sea to your left, but the platform seems to have a ramshackle railing. Halfway to the platform, the stairs are interrupted by a level landing, where uh, oh, I've lost the place. Where four very small rowboats are tethered against the island cliff. A worm-eaten wooden ladder, again without railing, continues to the platform another ten feet up. The ropes of a small freight crane dangle to the landing from the platform. Can the audience see this, please? Yes, Harrison? I was just about to change. Here we are. Oh. It's my hand! You can see my hand! Yeah, look at that. So make sure you don't have it in the way too much. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, what'd you do? Yeah, oh, sorry please. about that. All good. We're, we're all good. We became text. <laughs> uh, what, if, what if we held hands in Tabletop Simulator? <laughs> Uh, this is going to be such a nightmare for Harrison. <laughs> Man, and I thought they were getting distracted before. Uh, <laughs> you, uh, you get here. You can. Uh, it's it's still very very windy. Uh, the the storm hasn't hasn't cleared up uh, yet. It's very uh, uh, very thick clouds above, and it's it's not raining as hard as it was before still a bit uh what would you like to do so isabella and anthea are both gone they've left yeah okay but isabella did say before she fucked up with anthea we have to leave mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so okay. i'm assuming something is wrong here yes um, uh am i am i getting any bad vibes you you've after landing on the on the the beach here, you you are starting to feel a little uneasy. Okay. Uh, Noxus is kind of just like looking up at the sky and then back down at his hands and watching rain fall through them. Mm -hmm. uh, like it, no expression or anything. Just does um, Noxus have hmm. Bombeldo's jacket on? Yes. Ah. <laughs> and also. Bombeldo's loot, I'm assuming. A pamphlet? Yes. Panf yeah, pamphlet loot. <laughs> uh, I will say, you can also see <clears throat> uh, just a, a short way away a, a smaller island that looks like it was once uh, connected by a small bridge. Okay. Uh, which has looks like it's been uh, destroyed. Gotcha. Wow, what do we? Do you like to do, gay? 
Uh, could I start going up the stairs? Yep. No worries. I can head up stairs. Noxus will probably follow. Mm -hmm. you, are you all you, you all going up the stairs? <laughs> yeah, might as well. Team. Uh, right. This. Oh my God, it's gonna take so much to tear this family apart. <clears throat> all right. Uh. So you're Anton's still just not going anywhere. <laughs> Uh, Anton... oh, and Boomer. I guess he is here too. Hmm. That's a good question. Just having a breather. <laughs> I'm with you. Uh, Boomer should still have the effects. Oh, will he have the effects of that spell still? Would that have ended? It did take us a full 20 minutes to get off the boat. Uh, it died uh, last. Come on, hurry up and load. Last an hour. I'll say for the for the for now, Boomer. I'm just gonna say um. I'll uh, I'll come along. Uh, and Tom says I'll uh. I'll stay here on the beach. Uh, keep an eye out on the boat. All right. If you run into any trouble, just uh, try and get our attention. I'll, uh, I'll give a loud, uh, loud trumpet. Uh, and he takes a, a seat on the, on the beach, looking out towards his, uh, his lovely ship, the SS Amnesia. Anton is such a romantic at heart. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, alrighty. As you head up a bit further, you can see, uh, up this next set of stairs leads up to a wooden wooden deck uh, surrounding what looks to be a large two-story two-story structure um, as windows and doors does it look fine uh, it looks to be pretty pretty much intact doesn't doesn't have any damage or anything on the outside, from what you can see. Okay, I'd like to enter if I may, nice. but just before I breach it, may I activate divine sense, please? Can activate divine sense. <laughs> <laughs> Let me Google to see exactly what it does again. Uh, I'll wait for your permission. Hmm, okay, okay. Uh, oh, this has got a lot of shit, doesn't it? Uh, any undead in 60 feet of you that is not behind total cover. Ah, oh, okay. Not behind total cover. Ooh. Okay, okay, yep, no, no, that's right. Uh, you activate Divine Sense. Yep. Can't immediately yeah. detect anything. Okay. Uh, how big's 60 feet for this map? Uh, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 12. Oh, so, so all the, the way up to like here. Yeah. And yeah. to about here. Cool. Alright. Now, total cover means, like, fully obscured from vision. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah. So, That's fair. Yeah, you can't see anything right now. Uh, the door to this building is just here. You can see you uh, head up to it. Uh, now, yes. I, can, I can describe... Uh, it's a storehouse. Gee. Oh, okay. there's, there's the door alright as you uh, you open the door it is unlocked uh, yes yes it is uh, <laughs> I was like oh shit there's a minute uh, all manner of supplies tools materials and furniture are strewn throughout this double story room 
uh, shelves have been knocked over, crates broken open, buckets of paint smashed. Uh, only a faint blur of light breaks through windows, grimy with dust. Uh, a door leads to another room, uh, to one side. Uh, <laughs> and there is an open loft on the upper story above that room to the right. So this is kind of like a half... Uh, level that's like open. Yeah. So I I've made them in the Sims before. The main room is like two stories tall. Mm-hmm. And then yes. it goes into another room, which is one story, and then another story on top. And then another story, which is open though. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, as you enter this room, uh, Berg seal. A little, a little, a little kind of. Uh, Bell is going off in the back of your head. Spidey like, senses tingling. Ooh, ooh there's, there's, there's some evil going on in this room. Um, Jill, who is still outside, is just gonna be like, um, are you right in there, Barak Seal? Is this the is this the the main room? Sorry, when I enter uh, the front door. This one is the main room. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, everybody on guard. I uh, I don't sense something friendly inside. Okay. Um, Jill's gonna clutch clutch her big axe. Can I prepare an action? Is that a thing? Uh, yeah, you can. Sick. I'm oh, just ready to fucking go. Alrighty. Uh, I get. Yeah, sorry, I haven't got on the map because it would have been a lot of a lot to do, and I was rushing a bit. Uh, but you got to imagine there's stuff everywhere, all over the floors. It's like there's no like a water. It's it's hard to see the floor. Yeah. Just from just. The room's been trashed. Stuff's been thrown around. Uh, so it is difficult terrain, which means uh, what would usually take you five feet of movement costs ten feet. Cool. So your usual, um, like, six f squares for most of you would only be three. I would like um, to confirm, does Noxus have the ability to go through walls? I do. But yeah, I can see Noxus yeah. when that happens. I think so. Yeah, you can. Noxus, my dear boy, can I get you to scout the room for me, please? Um, sure. Um, so I will use... What's that ability called? Uh... Incorporeal walk? No. Yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, it is incorporeal yep. walk. Um, and I'll just, you know, like poke my head through. Mhm. Mm through this wall over here. Pop. Uh, there is. Uh, what can you see in there? You can see, uh, in this room, workbenches and tool racks line the room. Um, but it's seen better days. Not a single item seems to have remained in its intended place. Tools, nails, pieces of wood are strewn all over the uh, workbenches and on the floor. Uh, there's also a staircase leading up to the next story. Gotcha. Uh, at um, this point, uh, Barakseal, you hear okay. some rustling from over this side of the room from behind some uh, piles of trash and broken furniture. Light rustling or light, uh, heavier uh, rustling? He heavier, heavier rustling. Ooh, okay. Uh, um, oh. <clears throat> look, don't, don't look at the stream for just a sec, because otherwise you're going <laughs> to okay. see my, see my, see my monsters. Uh, oh. uh, Let me know when I can look. Not yet, not yet, <laughs> not yet. Uh, That's my whole thing here. <laughs> oh shit, I shouldn't be looking at tabletop either. No, <laughs> oh, you can look at you can look at that because you can't see my items. Oh, okay. I mean, I'm fairly sure I can, but no, like you can't see my menu. I'm looking through, but I, mean, ah. I only see that on the stream. All right, uh, you can look now. Okay. Uh, hiding amongst uh, amongst some of the stuff here are uh, several uh. Uh, undead uh, figures 
Uh, oh, my specialty. Their uh, <laughs> their their eyes are glistening black. Uh, and they uh, they, they hear you uh moving amongst all the uh the trash and <laughs> and uh move forward to attack you. Can everyone roll? Uh, initiative. Initiative. Yeah, but B, I haven't done this in a while. My plus nine. Oh, oh no. That's a 23. Beautiful sexy dice. Alrighty. Me! Ben. Sorry, wait for a second. Uh, Vanishing this die. Where's the naughty boy cup? Uh, everyone took a long rest, right? Yes, yep, we sure I did. Also, uh, Harrison, do you think it would have been um, an option for when Noxus heard like the rustling through the wall to come back through the wall? In? I was going to it... say, do you think he could sort of come back and ready hold person? Um. No, or would he have seen I think it would have first. been a bit too. It would have been a bit too quick. Okay. Uh, yeah. Too OP, if you ask me. I will let you <laughs> choose which side of the war you're going to be on. Uh, I'll probably just like flip around and. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Go ahead and. Uh, oh, let me add in. Stars. so productive oh actually actually no I think I will start on this side of the wall okay. alrighty oh, why am I he would have probably just been like oh there shit still. <laughs> Anthea you're out of there yep cool alright what's everyone's initiative uh 23 23 10 10 still got a 12 12 Four. <laughs> Oof. Good old plus nine. Awesome. Pathetic. I know. Alrighty. Right across the desk. Bombeldo. Uh, Noxus. <laughs> Ow. It is your turn first. No, no. Bombeldo's my father. Call me Noxus. <laughs> <laughs> um. I am. Would it be a bonus action or an action to kick open that door? Uh, I'll say it's a bonus action. Okay, so Noxus is, is gonna. Is it, are you not still in your incorporeal walk thing, or does that? How long does that last? I will check that to incorporeal walk. Just to kick the door falls right through. <laughs> <laughs> well, wouldn't he be going through the floor as well? No, you can you can choose. He hovers above the ground. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it doesn't say how long it lasts. Sure it did. Is it like a concentration kind of thing? Or? I thought it was the thing that was like... If, uh, if it lasts like a minute or something. Maybe not a minute, but... No. Uh, uh, I think it would have just sort of ended uh, when I flooped through. You but... gain a flying speed of 40 minutes... 40, 40 feet, feet for one minute. Oh, okay. So I assume it would have lasted a minute. Uh, yes. Uh, Alrighty. In addition, you're able to pass through creatures. Passing through a creature is counted as difficult terrain. However, if you end your turn in a creature space, you would jettison out and move to the nearest square and you take 1d10 force damage. Okay. So, so you can move of, through the wall. Yeah, free. I was going to say, instead of kicking the door open, um, Noxus will kind of just be like, Okay, um, and then floop back through the wall, mm -hmm. um, which is totally the scientific name for it. Loop, yeah. And yeah, floop. Awesome. Um, and we'll probably cast. What, what will what will we cast? That's a really good question. 
Um, we'll probably shoot off a chill touch. At chill touch. This, this one over at here. The ghast. I'll, I'll I'll name these to number one and two. Yeah. Um. Alrighty. Does he have to roll a saving, or what's the go? Uh, it's a cantrip, so I don't believe so. Hold on, let me just check. Um. Oh, real quick. Are you immune to getting poisoned, uh, Noxus? I'm immune to necrotic damage, not poison damage. Okay. Uh, can you... Can, real quick, I forgot to do this. Uh, you started your turn within five feet. Can you make a constitution saving throw? Fuck me, what? Okay. <laughs> um, can't save. There we go. <laughs> That's a twenty-three, baby. Oh, you're you're fine. You're immune to the ghast stench <laughs> for twenty-four hours. Is um, right, now go ahead and do your chill, touch or whatever. It is. Yeah, it will have <laughs> disadvantage, so I'm going to roll that twice. Oh no! What'd you get? That's going to be a nine to hit. <sighs> Doesn't do it, I'm afraid. Ah. Uh, after that, it's going to be one of the. Ghoul's turns. I'm Ghoul Jim. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> which would probably Ghoul make Jim. sense considering he just like phased through a wall and was probably like, where am I? And tried to do one uh, of We can't name one of them Ghoul Jim because we did that in the previous campaign. We did. We did. Canonically, Ghoul Jim exists. Yeah. <laughs> and Ghoul Bob. <laughs> yeah. Right, Ghoul Jim and Ghoul Bob have both been slain already. Yeah, yeah. This is his brother. Ghoul Greg. Uh, no, call me Ghoul James. <laughs> uh, this ghoul is going to cool run father. forward and attack you, <laughs> Barrack Seal, with its claws. That is going to be a... Oh! Holy oh, shit. Good first roll. That's a crit. 20, oh, 24 to hit. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, and that is going to be... If you, if you kill another one of Nova's it. characters, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> no, this was Barrack Seal. Oh, Barrack Seal. Oh, I thought you were fighting Nova. That's alright, then we can go. Yeah. <laughs> He's already been around so for I the haven't, entire campaign. I've, I've made three dice rolls. All three have been max so far. So that oh, is man. gonna be uh, 18 damage, Barrack Seal. Oh, okay. Not as bad as I. <laughs> as, uh, as it slashes at you with its claws. Uh, can you make a constitution saving throw? Uh, yeah. That's just a d20, isn't it? Mm hmm With your saving throw modifier. What is it? Plus four. Uh, 15. All good. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, smelly for me. Uh, it is now Jill's turn. I'm just now realizing I probably should have let Chill go very first because Jill prepared an action. So I'm going to let you have yeah. two free, two free, uh, you know, you get a free attack before your actual turn. So. Yes. Wonderful. Go, go ahead. Um. Well, I'm just going to have a, a mighty old whack at old mate who's closest to me. Yep. You can hit him through the, uh, through the doorway there. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, oh that God. one. So the angle that I'm working on is, yeah, there we go. Yeah, this this old fella gonna have a big old whack at him with my great axe. Mm -hmm. Um, where has my dice gone? It is this one. Oh, for those, for those oh okay. At home, everyone um, now has a tabletop simulator, so they're able to move things in the game themselves. Very, very, very hog and swag. Um, righty oh, I got a twenty-four. Oh, that absolutely hits. Absolutely smashes them. Uh, and then we've got... Uh, uh, so I guess I'm getting damage. that... Oh. And then plus... Okay, so that's nine damage. Nine damage. Awesome. You swing with your ba battle axe? Yes, that's one. Oh, man. Leave a chunk out of the side of his, uh, side of his torso. Let's out this guy it. isn't even standing perfectly straight and is already nearly a head taller than Barrack Seal. I am terrified. 
They do seem a little bit big, but that's all right. All righty, oh, wow. Jill. Now you get your actual turn. Now I get my actual turn. Uh, well, I'm going to go into rage, obviously. Mm -hmm. Um. Good work, good work. Excellent. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning how to play Barbarian. Um, and because I have chosen Path of the Zealot, uh, the first attack I make after I rage is a, a D6 plus 3 of radiant damage. Oh, alrighty. Yeah. So, uh, bloody go again, I guess. Where the fuck is my D6? There we go. Oh, wait, do I have to, I have to roll, I have to roll, do I, do I have to roll to hit that? Or is it? No, no, that's just. No, yeah. that's automatic. Automatic. Bloody wonderful. Okay, well, that's no. six. Six no, radiant damage. Six radiant huh? damage. You as please. you just glow with with holy light, and it. The maternal energy is just rushing through her. Yeah. Fucking thwack. Um, is that all my moves? <laughs> or have I got uh, one more? No, you've got an attack still. You have an attack. Shit! Cool. God, I'm good. I think all you right. get a, just yeah. You get a, an attack. <laughs> Yeah, well, just and to then keep it flavoursome. And a bonus attack or something, right? Oh shit! My god! Oh my god! Okay, yeah. To keep it flavoursome, uh, I'll. She's gonna kiss the kiss the ring on her finger. And she's gonna have a, a hand of matrimony moment. <laughs> uh, that's a like, twenty-five to hit. So. Oh yeah, you know. It. <laughs> and that and that's just a straight six damage. Six. Ooh. Yeah. I'm feeling like. This is Jill's John Wick moment, where she's just like pulling out every Bad little ass. stuff she has, like tung 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 tung. You give, uh, her, yeah, you give it a little, you give your ring a little polish and crack. Yeah. Crack this ghoul um, in the face. Mm. And then for my bonus action, I will, I'll just go with my great axe again. Uh, unfortunately, it's only a nine. Just trying to remember. So bonus action to rage, yeah. right? Yeah. Have I have done one too many? Action to attack. I think you get two ah, attacks so per action. I think you get two attacks per action anyway. Don't you? Because you're a. Okay, cool. Friggin... I get so confused. Um, yeah, well, anyway, that one's only a nine. Uh, yeah, you get, to, yeah. Uh, so no, that's not gonna hit. Unfortunate, but you know On what? On next go turn, crack. though, you get three attacks. Because of, uh, hey. there's a bloody, oh. bloddy raging. Uh, did Beautiful. you add on your plus two melee damage because of raging for the attack before? Oh, and... So that would have been eight? Well, eight. In, in that case... Oh god, I'm Boom. good. God, I'm good. <laughs> Jill it, bloody now. clocks this guy and he just goes down. They're actually not very Much so, um, unlike Jill's Batman. Like... Uh... Yeah. Jill's special trick is that if you even look at one of her lads wrong, she's gonna fucking just. Tung, 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 tung. No. She's so damn loyal. Alrighty. Yeah. <laughs> it is now Tarduk's turn. Again. Okay, oh, um. Man. I'm still outside, right? You are. Uh, so, um... I, I hear, like, a bunch of commotion inside. I'm like, how the hell is this starting already? Um, <laughs> so I rush in. Uh, Can I rush in? I mean, um, that's a door, is that not? No, these are windows. The door is here. Yeah, Jill's just inside the door. It was like, I'm like at, at the yeah, door there. Uh, and Tarduk fits through a window. I will say that you can get to here, Tarduk, but I don't know if you want to be there. What? Can Tarduk break down the wall just by running into it? Oh, Jesus. Oh, strange. Like, um, oh. fucking. You're asking, you're asking, you're oh, asking a bit of me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what, if, I'll, I'll, I'll... what if Tarduk turns into a rhino and does it? Oh, oh, absolutely! You could do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me, a, give me a wild shape, yeah, baby. Baby. Oh my God. No, hey, turn into the Kool Aid Man. Tarduk is really oh, coming no. into himself oh, no. right now. Does yeah. the Kool Aid Man yeah. exist in? The I don't realms? think Kool Aid Man has Kool Aid Man. Hang on. Uh, and if, and do... if he does, does he count as an animal? <laughs> Kool Aid so Man. Beast, it's... Stat block. <laughs> <laughs> Surely someone's done it. Oh, for fuck's sake. They have? <laughs> they have, yeah. <laughs> oh, what on. challenge rating can you do up to? Challenge rating? Yeah, what does uh, your wild shape say? It says 
one half? Hang on, hang on. You can magically assume the shape of a beast that you have seen before. Have I seen the cool Okay. (laughs) (laughs) So, it also says... It also says max CR, which is challenge rating, of half. In this thing Uh, I've looked up, Kool-Aid Man is challenge rating of five. (laughs) So that's ten times what you can do. Also, you haven't seen the Kool-Aid Man before. Uh, I think I ever will. Oh god. Right now it is, I guess. Uh, I can send you through a list of half CR creatures. You could turn into a rat and like scampy your way in. At 8th level, what level are we on? 6. You could be a black bear, an ape. Uh, You could be... (laughs) A I giant, a you'd be a giant <laughs> goat. A giant goat. Yeah. Giants. Can I turn to a rhino at half? Uh, a rhino. Uh, I'm not seeing it on here, but I dare say a rhino is probably more than one half. Rhinoceros. Here we go. I found it. It has a challenge yeah. rating of two. Um, afraid. Turn into a quarter of. But Sorry. I feel like a giant goat could definitely buck, and and possibly break down a, a wall. How big are giant goats? Giant goat is it's nine feet. It's a large beast, so you'd take up four squares. Yep. It's fucking pummel. Uh, okay. It also has a ram charge attack. Could I do that and at the same time run into a ghoul or two? Uh, okay, so it's an action to wild shape. Yep. And then, yeah. And then I'll say, yeah. Okay, so you turn into a ram. Yes. Holy Ooh. shit. Oh, he's big! <laughs> and you're charging at the wall? Yep. Can you give me a strength check with advantage? Your strength modifier is plus three. Plus three. I'm going to set the DC at... 17. Okay. Okay. With a 17 from this giant goat... We're talking, we're talking antlers here that are like probably this big, like as a, as a curl. You charge at this wall. Uh, <laughs> Barrack Seal, you hear this almighty crash as the windows smash and the head of a giant goat busts through the wall. Just the head. Uh, and I'm going to say you make it this far and it'll be a, an attack on this drowned ghoul. Uh, so that is going to be... Uh, that'll be 2d4 bludgeoning damage. Can you roll me that for the, uh, for the ghoul? Yes. Christ almighty. Where is my d4? This... And he's gonna make Still a strong. he's gonna make a strength saving throw. <laughs> to see if Three. he gets knocked off his feet. Three damage, okay. Oh, I don't know if he made it. Three damage and oh, okay. Good. Okay, he he just makes it and isn't knocked prone. <laughs> this is fine I will say he gets pushed into that square though alrighty okay. <laughs> so can, can, um, can Tardock still speak uh no <laughs> no okay. uh your intelligence is now three Tardock oh so yeah. what you have an intelligence of three 
Uh, you take all the attributes. I'll send you a link real quick to the stat block so you can <laughs> see it. I was going to say, can we confirm he knows from from foe? Who the fuck is that? Oh, damn, I did it again. Who is that? That is that the guy from Hoodwinked? What? What the no, fuck's I'm the rank? Saying... What? what are no, you I'm saying? saying? Can he can he detect friend from foe? I thought uh... <laughs> I didn't I, just, I didn't understand what you said. I heard friend from fro. Sorry. I was like, what the fuck is that? That's the guy from Hoodwinked. Can he tell <laughs> friend from fro from foe? Gotcha. Oh God, uh, yes, I will say I'll say he's still like in he, he still knows you guys. Conscience, yeah. He doesn't just lose all his memories and he's like, okay. now I'm goat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just charge. Yeah, then how would I change back? I yeah, exactly. Just, <laughs> I just got to rage. Uh, <laughs> Alrighty, it is now going to be Boomer's Stop, turn. Is... Oh. What? Uh, you... This is already a crap room. You can't, you can't see Boomer right now, but he's going to head around this way. Around this way. Sneaky. Into uh, the ocean? No, he's he's heading around this way, but I'm hiding him because you can't see him right now. Okay. Uh, it is Ghast One's turn. Uh, uh, alrighty. It is going to take a bite at this giant goat that has entered the building. That is going to be a 19 to hit. Does the AC change if he's a giant goat? Mm-hmm. Mal. Yeah. Paying attention. Mm. <laughs> Mal. <right? laughs> Pull up the giant goat stat block that I sent in. in yes. In, in Beyond Vendelin. Does a 19 hit? But, but, yeah. Probably, All yeah. Right. <laughs> that is going to be... Uh, uh, 14 slashing damage. Bang. Uh, can you also take a constitution saving throw? Yes. 11. You're all good. Ooh. Well, I felt like Perfect. four of Noxus could probably ride Tardoc right now. Uh, well, one is also <laughs> going to attack it because it can't really get to anyone else. Uh, oh my god, wait, that's an amazing idea. Oh. <laughs> Does a 15 hit, Mal? Yes. Oh, that's a weak goat. Oh. Uh, that is going to be... Um, uh, 13 piercing damage. Dang. Uh, and it is now Barrack Seal's turn. Um, yeah, dead if... last, baby. The, the goat has 19 hit points. If all of those are used up, do I change back? Uh, like, what happens then? Reverting... To uh, bury a giant goat. <laughs> It'll float. Just push it in the ocean. <laughs> hmm, that's a good question. I know with Polymorph... Think instantly. I know with Polymorph, you, like, you still have your hit points that you would have had. And Maxi says but. that it should. Yeah, he, he definitely should. turned back, but I'm just checking if you're then, like, you're unconscious, or... Yeah, what are my hit points after that? Like, for, for uh, my normal hit points. Would you just take 19 off normal? That's what I'm leaning towards, but wouldn't it, like, scale with my actual... I think... Or does it carry over? Maxi saying, Maxi, like, Maxi yeah, on notice. Proportionately, or... Maxi uh, is it yeah is it like overflow oh it's like, like polymorph. polymorph okay so so you are back to your normal form with your regular like hit points now I believe well not so yet I, I but I, I still have um what six hit points left on the goat oh you do yeah okay oh, not... okay oh I thought I thought that was it okay no all good all good uh, and it is, uh, Barrack Seal, your turn. What are you doing? Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do is 
read if I can do this. Hang on. <laughs> Put on some some more battle battle kind of music. I'll listen to my own. Okay, You're gonna play Ocean Man, aren't you? No, I would never. Why would you even say that, Nova? Thing. Sounds very interesting. I quite I fuck with it actually. Can I get a simple definition of channel divinity, please? I'm trying to understand it, but I'm uh, using myself. Oh, I need to play says... Paladin at some point because I don't know. It's... It says I get to choose which option to use, but it's I don't have a list of options. Um. Okay, let me let me look at your sheet. This music is stressing me out already. <laughs> uh, so there's sacred weapon or turn the unholy. Are your two options? Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Can you see them? Right. So I only get to use them once, right? Uh, yes. Yes. Once per short rest, yeah. Okay, cool. So, um... I don't can know I, if I can right. do this music. I, gotta, I think I'm going to change it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I want to do a channel divinity for mm -hmm. Turn the Unholy. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm then going to do, I'm going to check if I can do this. What's the name? Oh, I just realized, no. Barracksio, you're wearing adamantine half plate, aren't you? Uh, I, uh, yes. Uh. That means that crit against you earlier shouldn't have been a crit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you love to learn these things yeah. together. Uh, it becomes a normal hit. Okay. So you'll have to give yourself back eight hit points. All right. So you're doing turn unholy, which is it's the same as like turn undead, right? I I I don't know. I I don't have that option, but turn unholy. Uh, they have to make a wisdom oh, okay. saving throw. Oh, so it's not turn undead. Okay. No. Cool. Alrighty. First one gets... Uh, seven. Guess that fails. Uh, that's the ghast. The ghoul gets a 16. Passes. Okay. Cool. So the ghast has to spend its next turn running away from you. As far as it can. Uh, you can only use... Oh. Can't yeah, willingly basically... move to a space within 30 feet of you. Yeah, so it's always facing away from me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, cool. is that the end of your turn? Um... Could I also... Wait, hang on. Uh, uh, that counts as an attack, doesn't it? Action, sorry. Yeah, uh, yes. But that's just one action? Yes. Cool. Can I use my other action to... Uh... Hey, wait, no, you got... You get two you attacks, get two, two attacks, attacks per action. action. That was an action. That's one action. Okay. Yep. So you now have your bonus action, which you can use for something. Bonus action. Uh, let me check what this one is. You could do a spell. You can probably lay on hands. Thunder is smite. Wait, no, you can't do that. You could do sanctuary. <laughs> sanctuary. Where is it? Ah, it's probably not worth it. 
Uh, nah. Not really, because I already got one running. Yep. No uh, can I do Branding Smite? I think that's you have to choose to do that after an attack. And you haven't made an attack, so... Uh, okay. Yeah. That's alright. It just says one bonus action, so... Yeah, but that's like a bonus action to add it on to an attack. Yeah. yeah no, okay. Oh, God, I keep opening this. Alrighty. Yeah, this battle music. St stress inducing. <laughs> that, that battle music we had going, there was this one note it kept playing that like triggered me because it was like the um the Skype music when someone's calling you. Mm. Yeah. It was it reminded very me of Inception. I can't go. Oh, God. Da, 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 da. Ugh, Awful stuff. Hate it. Alrighty. So much. Anyway. Noxus, can you please give me yeah. a constitution okay. saving throw? Fifteen. Oh, good. Oh, wait, no, you already passed once. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, good. Go ahead. Hours. Do your do your stuff. Um, I am going to, because Noxus really doesn't want to get close to one of these. Actually, no. And you already I are, lied. But... <laughs> I lied. It does, and he's going to, uh, try and stab at one with his rapier. So he's awesome. gonna move here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that's gonna be a that's a nine to hit. Oh man, no, that does not hit, I'm afraid. Alrighty, let me just Okay. Hmm. For me. Uh, okay. And then, as a bonus action, I am going to Healing Word, um, Barrack Seal. Not Barrack Seal. The other one. Tardo. Uh, Tardo? Okay. Yep. That one. The other one. Uh, well, so... I, I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea, because, um, that means I'll just be stuck as a goat for longer. You can choose as a bonus action to end it, Mal. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah, so I'm gonna. <laughs> I have to stay as a goat until I die. <laughs> I'm just crying in goat form as Noxus heals him. Yeah. Oh my god! Um... Just let me die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're gonna get six health points back as Noxus is kind of just like hit him again. And then... Excellent. <laughs> oh, cute. Alrighty. It is Ghoul 2's turn, which is dead, because I forgot to put it. Uh, Jill! Yeah, it baby! It is your turn. What would you like to do? Woo! Well, I, because I'm tiny, I can move between people's fucking where they're standing. Yeah, so I'm going to zip on through, and I'm going to, with the one closest to me now, I'm just going to, like, fucking, yeah! And, like, um, try and take it out the knees with my great axe. All right, go for it. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, that is a nat 20 plus 6. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to tell me the plus what? 6 if the nat 20 it hits. <laughs> I just felt like I had to add it. That's fair. Okay. Um, and then I think it's a, it's a d12. Billy's yeah. rolling like a god today. So it's going to be a oh, d12 they... plus yes! a full 12 and then plus your extra. Well, I just rolled another 12. So that is 26 damage. <laughs> 26 holy shit <laughs> I love this fucking dice oh, these are yeah. my babies oh unbelievable you uh you swing down with your unit. battle axe <laughs> barbarian moment this uh yeah. this this ghast has its collarbone sheared in half <laughs> oh got him there's uh classic uh, chill moment I'm trying to what, what is a gas like? I was gonna describe like, I'd imagine like, kind of black, oozing kind of blood maybe. Mhm. Mm uh, a picture of him would help. Uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna say. This kind of gross, like tar, like blood starts oozing out of the wound. Uh, mm -hmm. go ahead yeah. and you got you got like two more attacks still, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
playing a barbarian is so fucking yoked. Uh, that is a 25 to hit, again, with my great axe. Mm -hmm. Yep, that is. Um, and that is... Plus two, 12 damage. 12 damage. You... Your first strike had the gas kind of stumbling a bit. Your second mm -hmm. comes cleanly down straight into the top of its head. Boom. Fucking got him. Uh, you still have, like, a bonus attack, right? Because of rage? Yeah, I do. Um, do you want to am I allowed first? to engage something else? Or yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. You uh, can move a bit. Engage Tarduk. Gonna... Yeah, I'm going to literally... <laughs> I'm gonna just. Can <laughs> you imagine Tarduk and I want one v one? Um, yeah, I'm literally gonna like step across the corpse and just like have another thwack at this Go guy. For it. Yeah, let's fucking love the boys. Ah, uh, that's another net twenty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Woman, how can this be? Is your dice <laughs> weighted? That's what I call empowerment. Yeah, that's... I bought these from Temple Arden the other week. They're very right. pretty and sexy. There's a weight on the opposite side. I should try and get yeah. a sponsorship, I'm just saying. I'll, 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 I'll add a banner. I'll add a banner. EB <laughs> Games. Yeah. Um, lovely. And more damage. Oh, fuck, that fell off the table. Oh, my. Oh, fuck, it just fell off. Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Um, so that's... So, 12 plus... Doing math in my head. 17 damage. Ooh. Did you add on the extra two because of rage? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh... He is still standing, but, uh, oh man, he is not looking good. Not looking good, baby. Which it, one was the one trying to run away from me? The one that's dead, I'm afraid. Ah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Taruk, it is your turn. What would you like to well, do? I'm going to change back into a turtle. Okay, okay. Uh, now you can choose as you shrink down what square do you want to be in. <laughs> Just yeah, there in the middle between those two. Oh no, but can you stop? Yeah? <laughs> I didn't even yeah. mean to press that, <laughs> but it, it was pressed. So I'm gonna go off screen and see what that does. Uh, oh, all right, so that's your bonus action. That. Do you want to make an attack? Oh, that's mad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll just hit him with a javelin. All right, go for it. <laughs> Bonk. Just like, just, uh, just a melee attack with the javelin? It is, yes. Yeah. Fuck, would I roll for that again? Whatever it says. Is it just... Just a d20. Is it just 20? Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. d20 plus 4. 17 to hit. Alrighty. That is, uh... <laughs> I'm trying, baby! That's gonna hit. As you <laughs> strike out with this javelin. It's supposed to be a ranged weapon, but, you know, I think it should be finesse. It'd make sense. Yeah. Uh, roll me some damage. Two. Two is just <laughs> enough to finish him off God. as <laughs> you silence his kind of <laughs> blood, bloody gurgling <laughs> with a javelin straight into the throat. Little, little twist. If anything, it's kind of oh. scarier that I knew... Oh, yeah. In universe, Tarduk knew exactly how little he, he had to stab oh, yeah. it to kill it. Mm. Oh yeah. I reckon. Tarduk has that like gamer vision where he can see how many health points everybody has. <laughs> <laughs> um, Jill's just he gonna just pat um pat Tarduk on the shell and be like, nice kill. <laughs> <laughs> uh alrighty. It is now uh quite uh quite silent. I don't know. I'm gonna switch the switch the music back because it sounds like we're supposed to still be in combat. Hmm. Um, you mentioned earlier when Barracksil was scoping around that it's very messy in here. Mm -hmm. Um, do we get? I don't know if this is something you can even tell us, but do we get the vibe that like this was these things just like in a rage, just messing things around, or someone looking for something? Uh... Why don't you give me uh, an investigation check? Fuck yes, that's rumble investigation. Not my best. That all happened in less than a minute. Yeah, <laughs> we're just fucking yoked at this. Uh that's only a twelve. Twelve. Yeah. 
Uh, it's kind of... Uh, it looks like this was all kind of, uh, I'm trying to think how to describe this. Kind it of seem, like it, it no seems, motive, it seems kind of... like there was fighting here. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, you can see some of the things that are knocked over, um, have... Uh, some like some some small kind of chips and and scrapes on them. Uh, yeah, that's, that's about that's about it. Okay. Um, I'd like to see if there's anything in this building that's worth looting. Mm-hmm. You can give me an investigation check too. All right, let's have a look. What do I have? <clears throat> that's two. To, it all kind of looks like junk just scattered around on the floor uh you can have a look in the other room if you want well you haven't looked in there do i get the option to roll again yeah you can look in here as well okay this is the the workshop uh all the workbenches there's tools on the ground how'd you get that this was done? 11 11 uh there's not really much of value in here um upstairs <laughs> yeah did did that all happen in less than a minute because i want to check something if it did. uh yes okay um noxus if it is okay to is mm -hmm. going to fly to the top floor uh yes you can do that and i'm going to float over into the top of this building just here Okay, real it's the quick. the lighthouse. <laughs> yeah, the lighthouse. Real quick, okay. You float up into the attic. Yes. I'll describe what you see here first. Uh, there is a hammock strung up below a tarp made from some sail cloth. And you can see what looks to be some stockpiled food and water supplies around this little area. Okay. Uh, yeah, and you're wanting already. to fly across here into the yep. lighthouse? Okay, so... Okay. So it is going to be... You float across Noxus. Ah. Inside uh, what looks to be a kind of communal area. Uh, uh, this area has a kitchen with an eating table and a common area with rockers and upholstered armchairs. Uh, okay, okay. There's a, a cupboard knocked over, some broken dishes scattered on the floor. Um, but the table is set uh, for, for dinner, but the food has all gone off. Looks like it's been sitting here quite a while. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, cool. As you, as you scan around, you see these things. You also see on the other side of the room are two, uh, two spectres. Uh, that haven't noticed you yet. Uh, awesome. They're ghostly uh, figures. Are you wanting to float back out? Yeah, I was going to say, um, making as little noise as possible, Noxus is going to, like, see them, and then just, like, the ghost floating equivalent of backing away very slowly yeah. out the window into <laughs> the yeah, top floor of the other. silent as you float back. And, and float back inside the top uh, attic in here. Awesome. Uh, did anyone else want to search upstairs? I didn't want to search upstairs. I did have a question, though. Mm -hmm. um, looking at the bodies of the, um, the undead we just fought, 
Uh, Jill coming out of her blood loss has started taking a few more details. Um, are the undeads, do they have any defining characteristics? Like, do they, like, were they wearing kind deal, or is it just, like, miscellaneous monster? Uh, they, they look to be fully clothed. Okay. Uh, some of them are wearing, uh, raincoats, uh, and, uh, uh, and yeah, and, and gum boots are practical clothing for this area. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. That's all. No worries. All right. Well, I'd, like, like, I'd to... like to exit, please. Mm hmm. So you come downstairs and exit out here? Yes. Is everyone else exiting? Um, Last chance yes. to look at anything. Yep. Uh, Jill, Jill, before she does leave, her kind of like looks around and she's kind of like, "How, how did this happen?" Like she's not really, kind of in shock that like she did all that. Um, <laughs> is Noxus going to tell anyone else about what he saw upstairs? Um, as people start like moving, um, he's just going to be like, "Hey, um." Maybe don't go into the lighthouse, actually. Why? Um, so I took a little float up there, and when I got to the top of the lighthouse, uh, there were a couple little specters, um, just up did, in the top floor. Did they notice you? I don't believe they did. How many? There were two of them. Just on the top floor? Uh, I don't... I didn't check the lower floors. It was It was kind of a middle-ish floor. Oh, oh okay, okay, sorry. Yeah, no, it's alright. You, you wouldn't... You would know that. That's... Something you would have seen as you were flying, like, directly across from the attic. Yeah, you were going pretty much into the middle of the, the lighthouse. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, I, I don't leave the house very much, but are specters always bad? Like, are they, could we not talk to them and figure out what's been going on in this lighthouse? I don't know what a specter is. <laughs> oh, it's, a James, it's a James Bond film. <laughs> <laughs> Do I, like, roll a history check to know that? Or? You, just could, you just could roll history checks if you want. I'm going to do that, because of Find course I am. That's going to be a 17. I want to see what I get. Uh. Oh. Nat 20. Sweet. <laughs> Apparently I know what they are. <laughs> uh. You know spectres to be souls of the dead. Do I know what threat level they are? Yeah, well, we know, like, their alignment, uh, sort of. On a 20, I would say yes. Uh, let's check. So really Noxus quick. doesn't, but Barracksil does. Barracksil does, yeah. yes. I mean, I got a 21. Uh, you but... know, spectres oh typically are chaotic evil. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Good yeah. fun. Yeah, Jill, yeah. Jill's they're just standing usually... there waiting for an answer. Like, God. <laughs> They they're usually not very happy to still be like you know trapped roaming the earth as a soul. Mm -hmm. um, Understandable. And there's not much of the personality uh, left. Poor Noxus. <laughs> Noxus, with your assessment of the what room, is... did it look like the building was still inhabited by anybody, or was it just barren? Um, there was some food on a table, but it looked to be rotten, so I don't think anyone would have been there for a while. Other than the spectres, but... I don't think um, they... <laughs> no Noxus, dear, I don't want to sound presumptuous, but, um, with you also being a bit of a spirit and all, do you think they would, uh, be a bit more kind to you? Um... I don't mean to presume anything. I, I, I. Uh, 
You know, I wouldn't... I wouldn't take the chance. Fair enough, fair enough. Just thought I'd ask. I'll... Okay. <laughs> Jill walks in. Hey, I know this... I know this guy who's also a ghost. You might know him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, so I'll describe a bit more of the yard up here for mm-hmm. you guys. Um, the wind howls across a featureless yard of smooth bedrock, slick with spray and lichen. Uh, uh, connects uh, a dilapidated building with a sagging roof that looks like a storehouse. Yep, you already know that. Uh, the lighthouse and what remains of the bridge. Uh, scaffolds uh, lean against the lighthouse on its northeast side Uh, and only a few remaining pieces of walls indicate a collapsed building next to the lighthouse on that side you Uh, cut out the end there sorry Uh, only a few remaining pieces of walls indicate a collapsed building next to the lighthouse over here okay 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 um how tall is the lighthouse uh, the lighthouse, I can tell you real quick. Open up. Oh. Uh, the lighthouse is... Total of 50 feet tall. Okay. When we were venturing towards this lighthouse, we only saw it last minute. Um, was that due to a just the weather or was it because it was faulty uh you you can't see a light at the moment in the actual lighthouse it's dark right so we can't can't see the revolving no light there isn't there isn't a light and there is you also couldn't see the general shape of the lighthouse because it was so stormy okay that makes sense yeah so i'm under the assumption that the lighthouse is broken yes Okay. Am I able to to reach the light? Uh, you can search around to the uh, the scaffold. You won't be able to jump up that high. No, I know. Yeah, but if, if I could get atop the scaffolding and then yeah. see if I can make it then. Yeah, you can head around there. Uh, so you head around to the scaffolding. I've got a map here for myself. <laughs> that helps uh, no one. <laughs> no, I can describe it to you though. Once you head around the side to the scaffolding, you can see that uh, hanging down on this side from the very top of the lighthouse is what looks to be a rope ladder that Mm -hmm. hangs down and stops at about the 25 foot mark, 25 feet off the ground. It's then another 15 feet down to the scaffolding. So you could climb the scaffolding and then jump 15 feet to reach this ladder if you wanted. Yes, please. Yep. Norris, you do so. Jump up and manage to grab onto this this rope ladder quite easily with your wings helping you. Uh, You begin climbing this ladder. uh, And you're climbing... You head past a couple of windows. Um, I'm avoiding the windows. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, okay, no worries. Just because you said that. Yep. Uh, and as you reach. Okay. Uh, let me just find. Okay, can you give me a constitution saving throw? Uh, yes. Oh, you fucking... <clears throat> Eleven. Eleven. Okay. This you immediately take this. five psychic damage. Oh, Lord. And you become frightened. As, you, as you're climbing this ladder, yeah, all of a sudden, your stomach just sinks. 
and you freeze on this ladder as this aura of dread washes over you. You feel yourself unable to climb the ladder any higher. What was that last bit? You cut that out. Oh, I need to change the settings. Hold on. Just, just a little bit. Just a little as bit. As you're at, to it. so you, you feel yourself unable to climb any further up the ladder. You did okay. it again. <laughs> I saw it as well. I saw it do it. Hold on. There we go. It's I'll change like it the last this. word. <laughs> you feel yourself unable to climb any further up the ladder. Okay. <laughs> so I'm like in a, I'm like in a, you're okay. you're frozen in fear. You, places, yeah. you can move back down if you want. Can I not continue moving up? No. You as you try to like, reach for the next one. Feel yeah, you feel this fear washing over you, stopping you from moving up any further. Can I command myself to keep <laughs> climbing up? So you're frightened at the moment. You know how you use that thing on the on the gas before, and it couldn't willingly come <laughs> towards you. Yeah, it's that, but yeah. on you right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to think. Oh. Um. Uh. Can we see what's happening? Yeah, like, you're, you're all down on the ground, kind of um, looking up at Baxiel, who's just <laughs> frozen on this yeah. ladder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to be like, are you right up there, sweetie? Can I? I you can I talk. I can't even, well, you well, in my mind, I reckon I'd be probably frozen, so I'd probably be, like, okay. staring <laughs> at the wall. Can I not spell myself with protection from evil and good? Um... Weird that thing end. for me to say, but I have advantage against being frightened if that's helpful. It doesn't okay, do anything for me. If the target <laughs> is already charmed, frightened, or possessed by such a creature, the target has advantage on any new saving throw. Okay. Uh, yes, okay. I will say... I'll say you can cast protection from good and evil on yourself and then re-roll the saving throw. Okay. So I do that, and then I roll again right now. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> you are still stuck there. Uh, and you also take another five psychic damage. Oh my God. So he can't go up or down. He's just stuck there. He can go down. I said he could go down, but he can't go up any further. It's his pride keeping him up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, his pr his pride won't let him go down. <laughs> All right, I jump down. Okay, you jump I'll, off I'll the give ladder it a shot. and, and like the, like, hover down. It's like the riders of Batman. He just can't his, go down. <laughs> his pride won't let him go down. Uh, all right, Jill. What, what happens it? up there, Braxio? <laughs> Sweet. Okay, sweetie. That's, you, that's you, actually you? his response. By the way, that's not me stuttering. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sweetie, come over here. Um, I'll have a look. Uh, Jill's like whole like you know checking for monsters under the bed instinct is is kicking in. Um, so if someone's happy to toss her up to where she where she can like reach the um the ladder, I'll I'll have a squiz. I'll do it. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I love getting tossed by my pals. Uh, attempt to climb up Ooh. the scaffolding. Yeah, baby. Whoa. Um, excellent. So what do I have to roll? Uh, oh wait, no, you got to roll to throw me, don't you? Yeah, I would have thought that. Are you are you throwing Jill? Hang on. All right. Are you throwing Jill from the ground? Yes. Okay. No worries. Uh, so give me a strength check, Tarduk. Uh, keep forgetting not my strength. Plus one. So. Depending Three. on how, what you're... Oh. <laughs> <Three>. <laughs> it was in that one. Tidal picks sorry, you up two. and gives a throw, uh, but you're only able to land, like, up on the, the scaffolding. He doesn't okay. throw you high enough. So, am I still able to... Is there a way for me to reach further up to where um, Barracks Hill was? Or? Uh, it's, it's another 15 feet to get up mm. to the ladder. Um... I'm going to look at you and be like, uh, Tartuk, that was very good. Do you reckon we can have another shot? 
and she's going to jump back down. <laughs> yeah. That looks like okay. <laughs> oh, you're doing you great, a, sweetie. A grappling hook or anything? Do another strength oh. check. Do yeah, hang, oh, hang on. Did I forget to give you that loot? The grappling hook. Oh, sorry. Maybe I have that. <laughs> I feel like I have something like that. Oh, I've got rope, not a grappling hook. Yeah, but isn't My it bad. so much better if we just throw people? I love yeah, when we throw each other. solution to everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bloody toss you like a... Uh, was it toss you like a discus, you piece of shit? All right, give me another strength. <laughs> oh, another strength check, Tato. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Why can't we get to this top? All right, I'm assuming Jill's literally where she was initially. Yeah. Um, she's like, okay, Tyga, why don't you go take a lap? Barex, you'll do your turn. <laughs> Noxus wouldn't be able to fly up there anymore, would he? No, that's run out. Red. <laughs> can I, can I just go? try and climb? You can climb the scaffolding, but then you've still got another yeah. 15 feet to get to the rope ladder. Hangs can above the Jill? scaffolding. Yeah, you can throw a Jill. Give me a strength check. Okay. Because it's. I was just worried that frightening would stop me. Yeah. No, you're not I moving towards it. You're just throwing her. Ah, okay, cool. Uh, where is. Okay, plus two. If you were oh, like, I'm going to fly up and place her on the ladder, I would have said no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unnatural 20. Oh. Hey! You throw. Wait, I, want, I want to know the form. I want. I want to know the form. Oh, yeah. Is okay, it like shot put? Yeah, is it like it throwing a kid up in the air? Um, kind of like uh, when when you're holding a fish, um, <laughs> and you go to put it back in the water, but like you're throwing up instead. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, okay. Cool. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> rugby throw, if you will. Rugby, rugby throw. throw. Bit of Rex Rex Hunt action. <laughs> Incredible. And a Billy Slater going on. I, I fish. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> Ready. Can I? Uh, can I'm I just... simply just try and make an acrobatics check? Paul Callan's tackle world. to just no, climb the throwing. side of the the lighthouse. <laughs> are you saying? Uh, to get to the rope ladder. I've already passed the strength check. I've already like grabbed it. Okay. Just... So Barracksil <laughs> Barracksil throws. Uh. Throws Jill. Jill, you land on the rope ladder about a quarter of the way up already. Uh, Noxus, you climb up the scaffolding, get to a point where you're looking up, there's a rope ladder hanging 15 feet above you, and just the smooth side of of the lighthouse in front of you. Yeah, too easy. Can I just, like, acrobatics check it? Go and ahead. see if I can jump up? Go ahead, give me a roll. Is this like Assassin's Creed where you just keep holding down RT uh, and it does That's something. a 23. 23? <laughs> Sheesh! Oh my god. But it does something. <laughs> okay. There's, there's a hole in the wood. <laughs> uh, this rope ladder ain't big enough for the two of us. With a 23, you step up against the side of this wall. And... Sure. You... You're, you're kind of scratching at the wall with your kobold uh, clawed feet. feet. And you manage to kind of get one to dig in a little bit. And then the next one, you kind of... you slowly making your way up the side of it. It looks very desperate. It's... it's... it's real iffy. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like when the the ice climbers are going up the ice wall with those spiky boots. Oh yeah, yeah. But way way dodgier. You're like, oh, this, <laughs> this is not looking good. Uh, Jill, I will say if you're continuing to climb up the ladder, mm -hmm. uh, you start uh, climbing up. You get to about the halfway mark. Yes. And can you make a wisdom saving throw for me? Oh, sorry, Constitution Shh. saving throw. Constitution saving throw? Yes. Sure. Is that just a d20? Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Uh, so that is that plus that. So that's, I get advantage on this one as well. Okay, never mind. Uh, 17. 17. You feel fine. Excellent. I keep climbing. Girl boss mm -hmm. moment. No one can gaslight me. No one can gaslight a girl boss. You keep, you keep climbing. Uh, Barracksu, you see her start climbing up further than you got on the ladder. 
Yeah, I was already grumpy, and now I'm just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm double her height. <laughs> uh, as you head up and start to get towards the top of the lighthouse. Just, just before you get to the top, I'm just like, because I didn't tell you guys what I was doing. I'm just like, can you, can you check the lights working, please? <laughs> yeah, we just decided, like, what's he doing? Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nobody asks what I was doing. You just all yeah. <laughs> follow yeah. along. <laughs> Classic. Um, that looks yeah, fun. sure thing. Sure thing. Uh, Nox, is this protector? <laughs> okay. Uh, mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks, Mum. Good night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you reach the top of the ladder. Yes, I do. And poke your head <laughs> up. Yes, I do. Uh, you see the, uh, you can see through these, uh, big glass windows mm -hmm, where mm -hmm. it looks like the lighthouse beacon would usually be held. Yes. Uh, you can see this a large mechanism that looks like it's designed to rotate a uh, a ten inch ball. Mm -hmm. uh, rests empty in the middle. Uh, behind that, you can see a human sized uh, black cloudy figure. Do we have a map of, of the, the room? Uh, we do. Do I? So I wouldn't be very far behind. Uh, Jill, would I? Yeah, you are. You're still climbing up the side. Okay. This, yeah, she, the outside of she the lighthouse is up. really hard to climb. Okay. <laughs> and I, I know you rolled a 23. But DCs can be like 35, so it's still yeah. very hard to do. Uh, here we go. Here it is. Uh, let's put Jill. So, Jill, you're climbing up up here. Whoop. Yes. Uh, Where am I? On the, just there. And. Yep. Wow, the whole gang is here. There you go. There's a black cloudy figure over the other side. Whoa! Uh, what, what would you like to do? At the moment, you're just kind of poking up your head, kind of peeking. I am, I am. Um, I'm guessing he is the source of the fear. <laughs> Uh, looking directly at it now, you, you are, yeah, you're feeling uneasy. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna just quietly lower myself from the window and look down to where I imagine, um, Noxus is climbing up. Mm-hmm. Uh, Noxus hasn't reached rope. the ladder. Noxus hasn't reached the ladder yet, but yeah, you can see Noxus. Ah. <laughs> Wait, let me, let me, let me, give me one second. I'm just gonna check how long my rope is. Should my rope 50 is fifty feet. feet long. Can I um assist Noxus in the climb? Mm -hmm. Can you just lower the rope so that I can climb it as well? Oh, I'm still gonna fail that. No, I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because you're a scary little pussy baby. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'd like to assist Noxus in the climb. Mm -hmm. Yep. How do I do that? What do I have to roll something? Uh, how do you want to do it? How are you? What are you doing with the rope? Throw it down to him, be like, and, and like just like, <laughs> ugh, like like Rapunzel this shit. Okay, all right. You, know? you throw down one so end I'm, of the rope. I'm gonna hold steadfast. Holding, holding yeah. the other. Yes. Uh, the rope ladder hangs out a little bit from the wall, so you kind of like you can shimmy it kind of in in towards the wall, so Noxus can grab it. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Uh, and Noxus, do you want to give me a uh? 
a, an athletics check to climb this rope with advantage. Oh, okie doke. Okay, that's that. Oh, that's so much better. That's a 17. 17. You you begin climbing up this ladder. Jill, you're able to hold on uh, with one hand mm. holding onto the ladder still. I'm just that strong. Oh, incredible. <laughs> As I'm Nox is jacked. Begins climbing and you eventually reach the bottom of the ladder, Noxus. Yeah. Is. Small detail, but I feel like I need to say it. The uh, the seams on Jess, uh, not Jess's, on Jill's uh, clothes strain under the power oh. of her muscles. Incredible. <laughs> I didn't think Noxus would weigh that much. Yeah, no, I have a racial that trait called lighter than air, so... <laughs> she, she's, she's putting it on all for show. Yeah, just like... kind of pull, you can pull the rope that like, Noxus comes yeah. flying. Yeah. <laughs> just fling. Yeah. I can literally use him as like one of those like sticky hands, you know? Yeah. Yo-yo. <laughs> uh, Noxus, you're Same able to reach the, the bottom of the ladder. Okay, I will climb up. Mm-hmm. Now let me just check something real quick. Yeah, he's gonna do a That's never thing. good. Mm. I just gotta check, are you technically undead? I'm whatever the hell this mm, class ca uh, race counts as. Sure. Uh, you want. Uh, I'm going to say that, yeah, you don't have to take the save. Does uh, that mean... Does that mean that when I get up there and see him, mm -hmm. after a little self-deliberation within Noxus's self, um, mm -hmm. I can hold person in this guy? You... Okay, you climb up the ladder, able to make it past Jill. Climb up, and you can see what Jill was seeing earlier. Uh, it's it's more of like a panicked kid action. Just doesn't know what else to do. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of just like, hey. Okay, you cast hold person. Yes. Uh, she's a humanoid that you can see within range. The range is 60 feet, so I assume that he's within that. Wisdom saving throw for you? Well, uh, yeah, because you're climbing up and able to see it at this point. So, yeah, you're, yeah. you're also, like, that close. Uh, the DC is going uh, to be... He rolled a 16. Well, you don't know the DC now, do you? <laughs> DC is 15. Shit! You uh, you cast hold person, but you don't feel it take hold. Uh, Tarduk and uh, Barracks, you're just, just kind of on the ground dark. looking up, going, what the fuck are they doing? What's up there? Oh, yeah, kind of concerned now. <laughs> be nice to know. Yeah. <laughs> if, um, if I, like, because it's a long way down, isn't it? If I, like, tell them what's going on, it's, am it's I going to alert the race? It's, it's 50 feet. I don't have like a whisper spell. I have no spells. No, I you're a message. barbarian. Just absolute strength. No, I, yeah. I have a message. Do you wanna um okay well, uh I'm gonna say to um Noxus, can you tell the others there's there's a shifty looking fella up here and uh, I think he might be why the lighthouse is out. Awesome. I'm gonna use that twice, but it's a cantrip, so I don't care. Um and I'm just gonna be like there's there's some creepy dude up here. Um, and like, <laughs> Jill is like, it's like um, when like Mum's trying to get in on the phone call. I was like, tell, tell, tell him, tell him that he's shifty looking. <laughs> <laughs> in in Jill's words, he's uh, he's shifty looking. <laughs> is is there is there any way that they could get up here? <laughs> no. Well, the the no. rope is hanging all the way down to the ground now. I'm assuming. Okay, well, Tartar could come up if he wants. I don't know about. Is, is Jill that, gonna wait, be able to carry Tartar? Turn into a yeah. pit. Oh, I can fucking try. <laughs> I've been rolling <laughs> like a ledge. I, I, yeah. 
How All much right. does Tardic weigh? Oh, he's fucking huge. Uh, I'll find it. <laughs> uh, Tardic weighs 500, 500 pounds. pounds. <laughs> Let's fucking go. I'm going to give it a shot. are fucking huge. That wasn't really based on anything, by the way. I kind of just wrote it. I think that's accurate, <laughs> though, to be honest. Based, based on what? I don't think mine's accurate. Mine's that's probably based. 92 pounds. That sounds 92 really... Pounds? That sounds wrong. Okay, totals <laughs> average 450 pounds. Oh, there we go. You're a bit on the heavier side, but we love you for it. So, so yeah, that'd be 200 <laughs> kilos. Tarduk is 226 kilos. Sick. I'm only giving a shot. Wait, no, no. Um, uh, Jill could no, bench no, that no. with her left hand. This is up here with me. Surely you can help. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. No. I'll give a help action. No. <laughs> so that, that you can get advantage. I will let you um, help. Okay. Yeah. Jill's going to, like, um, she's on the right side. She's just helping kind of, You're bit. kind of flicking it into Tarduk. Yeah. Like, come on. I'm like, yeah. I'm like trying to like, give attention. Like, come on. Grab the rope. <laughs> yep. Okay. How does Tarduk react? <laughs> he, he sort of looks at the rope and he's like, are you serious? <laughs> oh, come on! Sorry, I grab it. The future is female. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> so, are you gonna pull me up, or am I climbing with like your? I'm I'm gonna yes. hold it to brace so you can climb. Okay. She is the grappling hook. I am whatever you want me to be. <laughs> All right. So, does this work? <laughs> uh, Let's give find me, out. Give me an athletics <laughs> check with advantage, Taduk. See, this is where the muscles start coming out. I was about to say, can I give a help action so we can no, get not for that. advantage? <laughs> Nine. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Okay. With advantage. Yeah. Uh, Taduk, you begin climbing this rope. <laughs> I like that you got halfway just going, no, don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> that would totally be Taduk. No. No. <laughs> uh, Okay. From guy. <laughs> you begin climbing um, up this rope, and as you're, uh, we'll say like, quarter of the way up the rope, you hear this sound that's kind of like, it sounds like the little oh. like fibers of the rope starting to to, to give. Oh, no. Uh, and you can, you can see you can see this point about halfway up the rope where yeah they're starting to like fray these little bits of the rope are like flicking out like in the in the cartoons and that mm. what do you want to do Tarduk? I cloud of daggers the rope, Tarduk. <laughs> at the at this point you are about 25 feet no 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 because that's where it's breaking you are you're currently like 15 feet up the rope are you, are you wanting to like keep going? Would you be going at a height quicker, where he could or? grab the ladder? Not yet, no. Ah. I'm gonna retract into my shell and drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna destroy the scaffold. I okay. do it with the all right, stealth. All right, all right. <laughs> Does Baraxil try to catch him? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Baraxil dies. Uh, I'm just gonna see what. <laughs> That'd be so loud. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you're climbing the, the the rope, and yeah, it's starting to fray, and you just go, <laughs> tracked in, and and let yourself drop. Barrister, you see as <laughs> Tarduk's shell begins falling back down. Uh, and <laughs> I'm just imagining Tarduk's like, "Oh my ass." <laughs> uh, Tarduk, you fall backwards uh, and drop and hit this, uh, uh, what was it? Affolding? Bedrock. Not bedrock. He doesn't roll off the edge, does he? Uh, well, I'm not a ball. No, no, you don't roll. Uh, yeah, oblong, bedrock. You, you, hit this, you hit the bedrock <laughs> and the there's block. this loud... Uh, Kind of high-pitched crack of the uh, uh, shell hitting bedrock. Uh, can I get a Constitution saving throw? Are you playing Minecraft now? You can put that in the tags. Get us Holy shit! Board. They hit bedrock. It's crazy. 
20. 20. Oh. All good. He practiced. Uh, you are you oh able God. to to uh, come out of your shell? Uh, there, are, you, you noticeably, <laughs> you can feel you're a little bit kind of stuck. Uh, as you've created a bit of a dent in the ground, I'm stuck. Oh, and you're like, roll. oh, no. <laughs> I'm stuck. Just turn into a pigeon. I can't. I've used up my wild shape spots. No. Spots. Uh, um, Jill at the very top is going to pull back up her rope and see the frayed section. Be like, that was a fan from the heirloom. Um, uh, and then, okay, go turn to to Noxus and be like, um, okay, Ken, looks like it's just you and me. Uh, do you have any any like uh any tricks, any spells that are that are good against? Like undead kind of things. Um, why would I have spells that would kill me? Look, that's a good point. I'm sorry for asking. It's probably very insensitive. <laughs> Again. Um. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. So there's <laughs> again. There's, again. Oh my God. There's there's windows around this. What if I I'm not very good again with this kind of thing. So what if I'm the distraction? I. I get his attention while you sneak around the other side, and then you, you, you just get him from the back, through the window, on the other side. I have an idea. Okay. <laughs> you, you do that. Okay, yep. I'm gonna blow him up. Oh, okay <laughs> then. <laughs> Can, do you want, do you need me to lead him anywhere in particular, or just get his attention? Lead him back around to the window this window yes okay i i definitely can do that okay amazing um, um three two one go team <laughs> <laughs> i am going to cough cough i'm going to cast glyph of warding on the inside of the window and it's gonna be like fire damage and the condition will be if he is like if he moves in front of it it goes okay you you, you kids and your coding is so clever <laughs> uh no worries so you cast it on the are you able to cast it on the inside of the window? If you're on the yes. outside of it? Well, no, I'd like open the window, slap it on, and then close what it. What about this? Okay. I open the window and crawl in, and then you, while I've got yeah. distracted, you, slap it on. Yeah. You're trying to do this without being detected, right? Correct. Can you give me a stealth life. save then? A stealth check? Easy, sure. I have a plus four. Mm -hmm. Okay. I sure hope they don't destroy it. 17? All right. All right, you carefully uh, open this uh, this window. Speaks just a little bit, and you cast this uh, glyph. Close the large window back up. So I'll just draw. What happened? What? Can I it's, it's, not, it's not working. There's a giant pencil. Cool. Is it the right color? What if we all had pencils? Wouldn't that be cool? I've also Why got a pencil not... now. Oh, okay. It's only working there. Okay. Oh, uh, so maybe it's going underneath the thingy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's it's there. It's on that side. Very cool. Okay. Yep. And so what is Jill doing now? Jill is without disturbing the um the rune on the glass is gonna jump through the window and land she's gonna hold her axe and have an action prepared um and be like over here you great big bastard this is my lighthouse now <laughs> okay hang on let me let me check how does the oh god how does the glyph work <laughs> real quick 
How does the glyph work? He yeah. needs oh, yeah. to walk uh, in front of it within like five feet, and it's gonna blow. Just now realizing doing this on glass is probably not the best idea, but it's okay, fine. Okay, you you decide what triggers the glyph. Okay, no worries. Yeah, he like walks in front of it, and I'm gonna have it so that it's like above where Jill would like run under. So it's not gonna hit Jill if she runs past it, but it will it's like hit. So him. small. <laughs> yeah. Okay. She, Jill's like two foot tall. All right. Or, or if, so if you don't like that, I'm happy to choose a side. No, that's okay. To, like, when All I right. go through. Okay. You see uh, this uh, ghostly black form. Oh. Yeah. Is there but, something here? Is that uh, where the thing is? The mechanism is there, but you can, like, see through parts of it. it? Okay, yeah. Uh, it's yes. like that part of Romeo and Juliet through, like, the, the fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> This that ghostly black obscure. form turns and looks directly at you. Uh, She's got her axe. Yep. She's ready. Okay. It slowly starts to move towards you. Moving towards. Can it go through it? Moves directly through. Oh, fucking Christ. What, what are you doing? You, are you, is Jill running? <laughs> Uh, Jill's gonna, like, she's, like, hot feet, like, hoo, 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 and she's gonna go to one side. Okay. Uh, to the, that side, yeah. All oh, steps the Perfect. <laughs> Do it. Fantastic right. footwork by Meadowbrook. So, that's gonna be a dexterity check of, or a dexterity save of 15. If not, he is going to take 23 fire damage. Dexterity check... That is a botch. How much fire damage did you say? 23. 23? So that shit's gonna... Uh, so you mean 11? Blow them real hard. Can the lighthouse what? also get a check, please? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want it to still be usable. Well, the window will probably blow out, but that's about it. Okay, what's he... Uh... Yeah, it's a glass centerpiece. Okay, he's now on... That much, <laughs> guys, stop neglecting it. <laughs> it's it's fine. You're a paladin. You care too much about interior design. Okay. Uh, we care about you not dying. No worries. God. Jill, you dive to the side as this yeah. wraith uh, moves through, yeah, uh, the beacon kind of holder towards mm -hmm. the glass. <clears throat> All of a sudden, there's this almighty <laughs> blast of flame. Uh towards the wraith as it kind of <laughs> and uh Barrack Seal and uh and and uh Tartuk from below you see as this window above <laughs> blasts open from the force uh and uh glass begins to fall from above <laughs> no what are they doing can I get a I'm dexterity can I get I'm a... gonna go back in my shell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get a dexterity saving throw, Barrack Seal? Oh, yeah, because I don't get a shit. And I'll get one from uh... Mal. <laughs> as well. He can't move! <laughs> um, I got 11. Again. <laughs> okay. Because it's consistent like that. 7. <laughs> uh, Barrack Seal, you take 6 piercing damage. Oh, yeah, There's a couple so of little shards That's of glass not that kind of bad. nick you. Oh! Oh. Um, Taduk, uh, you you take half that, I'll say. Uh, just because. Uh, just because. Just because. Just because I said, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How's gone, Harrison's head? What what was it again? You get uh, three damage. Three, three piercing. Uh, Wait, wouldn't Tardis be like resistant to piercing damage? Because of his shell. Is he? I, I'm belly side up, so I don't know if that would make a difference. Well, I mean, damage resistances don't really count. With side um, 
Um, um. Oh, you have disadvantage on deck saving throws while in your shell. Well, I'm, I'm actually... Actually, yes, I am. I did say that. Uh, <laughs> I went back... I came out of the yeah, shell when I landed and went back in when I saw the glass. You don't get any uh, <laughs> resistance or anything. Ah, okay. Dang. Uh, okay. Uh, Jill. Yes. This wraith turns to you now uh, mm -hmm. as you've dodged out of the way uh, and it is going to because I prepared an action do I get to go first it's okay or... if not I thought I'd ask <laughs> what was your prepared action you... remember when I said I climbed through and I grabbed my axe and prepare or we can just scrap that if you didn't hear it I didn't hear it, I'm sorry. Uh, no, that's perfectly fine. I'm, yeah, um, that's all cool. Go for it. Hit me. Hit me! I can take it! Okay. Uh, <laughs> 700 damage. We all die. <laughs> it bleeds over into the three of us. Yeah. He reaches out a, a ghostly oh. tendril hand yes. uh, and and kind Yucky. of and he grabs your arm as you're leaping away mm -hmm. uh that is going to be a 14 to hit hit sorry one second uh that yeah that'll get me oh weak all righty and that Oi. is going to be <laughs> i have an ac of 14 how the hell mine's 13 <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> Do you have any armor equipped? No, because it's my um my AC is higher without it. Uh, you take yeah, you take twelve totally necrotic different. damage. Twelve. Yep. It's a bit mean. Uh, can you also make a Constitution saving throw? I absolutely can. Uh, apply damage. Constitution saving. What's necrotic damage? Uh, it's kind of like, uh, what is you it get like when you really away. Un undead. It's very, you know, like death. Um, the only reason there's different kinds of damage is because you can have immunities and resistances to different resistances. kinds of stuff. Mm. Okay. What, what kind of saving throw was it again? Uh, constitution saving throw. Constitution. Uh, that's a 13. 13. Uh, you feel your hit point maximum oh. come reduced by 12 as well. Fuck off! Alright, it's a 41. Okay. Oh, I'm resistant to necrotic damage too. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, yeah, if you didn't get scared like a little bitch baby. Uh. Uh. I think we're gonna end it here for tonight, but we'll start with like an oh. initiative roll for next week. Hey, very cool. Uh. So that's where we're gonna end it for tonight. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this one. It's a you know a little bit different, a little bit kind of a sp spooky one. Uh, yeah. This is just this. This is Spooky Island. It's a little bit like my favorite. Yeah. My favorite um, Scooby Doo movie. Anyway. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, you know, probably start at at, at seven o'clock. We'll try. We'll do our best. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll see, see you later. Ha <laughs> ha